a long time ago, before Mr. E, before Disneyland, a brave soul entered onto a quest to extract honey from a beehive. Woohoo! Not Winnie the Pooh, me! Do you guys remember when I put bees in the yard and I got beehives? Today, we're gonna do an update and see how they're doing. We installed them back at the end of April. They've been doing really great and I've had a lot of you guys in the comments wanted to know how they're doing. So let's go check it out. Ah! All right, so these are a whole bunch of empty boxes that we've gotten out of our storage unit, but these are the three beehives. These on the ends have each given been given an extra box. This one's been given three extra stories. So we're gonna take a look on the inside and see how they're doing. They look pretty active. Okay, so I've got burlap is what I use when I light my smoker. And then I burn the burlap and that creates smoke. And the smoke gets the bees to calm down while I'm looking at them. So they shouldn't be too aggressive. I'm so excited! I haven't looked at them. It's been probably about two weeks since I've looked at them. And I'm anxious because the last time I looked at these I added this box right here and I added this box right here and they were both empty so I'm really curious to see how they're doing. And it's getting close to the end of the season. It's the beginning of August so we've got about probably another six weeks of summer season before we're ready to actually harvest the honey. Now, here's the really hard part. In this hive, there are probably a, a few hundred thousand bees, probably at least a hundred thousand bees and I'm, my goal is to find the one queen in this hive, and I think I can do it. Do you think I can do it, Ryan? Yeah! <laughs> All right. So half the battle is getting a really good smoke. If I can get a really good smoke, then the bees will be super, super gentle. If I can get them gentle, it makes for a really good experience for everyone. Okay. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so we smoke the entrance, and then we'll lift up the top and smoke on the inside. Oh, they glued it shut. This time of year, because it's the end of summer, they're more likely to be defensive and aggressive in protecting their hive because they know what's at stake and they don't want to lose all of their honey, all of their hard work from the summer. They don't want to lose it all. So the frames that are in this top box are more, they're not as deep as the other ones. These are called supers. And the supers are shallow and they, these ones have a just a pure wax foundation. So they haven't quite gotten to these on the outside yet and that's pretty normal. I wasn't expecting that there was gonna be anything out here. It's in the middle that I wanna look. So let's see if they've done anything yet in the center. Oh, that's looking good. Take a look here. So they started to fill it with honey. On both sides. Just barely getting started and this is the outmost frame that they've gotten started on. Which means that the inner frames could very well be almost full of honey by this point. Take a look at that. That's all honey inside of there. On both sides. All right, let's keep going. I think this next frame looks about the same. Take a look at this frame. On the top, you can start to see that they've actually started to cap off the honeycomb. When the honeycomb is capped off, that means that it's ready for harvest. So they're doing a great job drawing out this comb and filling it to have plenty of honey for the winter.
Same thing with this one. So they're doing extraordinary. I'm absolutely thrilled. And you know what else I'm excited about is these top frames. They're only filling them with honey. They're not filling them with baby bees. There's no brood up here. The queen is not laying eggs up here, which is how it should be. And so I'm excited about that. That makes me happy because that will make it easy to harvest because there's not gonna be any baby bees in the area when I'm trying to harvest the frames to worry about, so it's perfect. Okay, so now that that one's all done, let's take a peek at the next box. And this one I expect to probably find some brood in this next box. We'll give them a good smoke here. Just looking in through the top, I can see honey and I can see capped honey which is a really good sign of a healthy hive. So they're, they're being very good. I'm really excited to see what is in here because I could open up this box and that could be a full frame of capped honey. We don't know yet. So let's just take a look and see. It's heavy. And honey is very heavy. About how heavy would you say a full? Oh my goodness gracious. Take a look at that. Okay, so your side is good. That's all honey. All of it is honey. But wait till you see the other side. Take a look at that. <gasps> that is all capped honey. That is ready to be harvested. And you know what makes me most excited? It's on the outside frame of the box. Usually they start from the inside and work their way out. So the fact that this is as full as it is on the outside tells me that this is gonna be a good honey harvest. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. So these bees are gearing up for winter. They're doing a fantastic job, so good. Let's take a look at the next frame here. Gotta be as gentle as I can. I really don't want to hurt any of the bees. The bees are being so good and so gentle with me, considering that I'm literally ripping their house apart. Oh, wow, get a load of that. Oh my goodness, all capped, all ready to harvest. That whole frame is ready, and so is this side. Fantastic, oh my goodness. Literally, I worked, looked at this hive two weeks ago and they weren't anywhere near this. This is so cool. Wow, I'm just so thrilled. So I'm not too concerned to find the queen on that frame. The queen typically hangs out where the brood are. Wherever the baby bees are is where the queen is. And so I'm not seeing the, any baby bees on these frames, which means I'm probably not gonna find the queen. Oh, here we go. Now we've got some baby bees. This is the what's left of the brood chamber. So as the bees are hatching from their cells, they're filling the cells with honey. So this is an old brood chamber, and now they're just replacing the empty cells with honey. And I can see eggs, and I can see larvae on this cell, on this frame. They look like little grubs. That means the queen's been here since there's grubs, little baby bees. The queen has been on this frame laying eggs. I'm not seeing her now. That's totally fine. I'm gonna put it back. One of the things that you need to be aware of with looking at bees is you don't wanna be opening up the hive and leaving it open for too long because the bees will start getting irritated even if you smoke them well if you leave the hive open for too long. So I'm anxious to kind of get through it as quick as possible. Let's take a look at this frame here. So this is all capped off brood. These are baby bees just about to hatch. And some of them might even be hatching if we look close enough. I'm scanning the frame for the queen right now, hoping that maybe I'll get lucky and spot her. Not seeing her there. Let's take a look at the other side. So the larva, so they first are in an egg state, and then they become a larva, and then as the larva gets big enough, then they cap the larva, 
and that's the pupa stage as it transforms into an adult bee. So all the, fr all the cells that you see capped off are pupas that are metamorphosis into an adult worker bee. I think we're getting closer to the queen. She hangs out where the eggs are. If I look deep into these cells, I'm not seeing eggs and that's okay. They'll probably just fill these empty cells with honey. So that's, is that the difference? The well, honey right there and then the brood right there? Yep, so brood is a very smooth cap, rounded, smooth. Honey is just kind of a very kind of squiggly, unsmooth, jagged capping. Normally, at this point, I would be satisfied with what I've seen and I would close the hive because I really don't want to leave it open for too long. But I still want to see what's in the next box, how they've started to draw out the frames of this next super that I added. And I also am hoping to find the queen. It's a lot of bees. For some reason I have the song, let it be, let it be, let it be, <laughs> stuck in my head. And that's the only part I know. Just let it be. <laughs> You know what? I haven't seen very many eggs on this box, which means that all the brood in this box is old, so the queen's probably not up here at all. Ooh, I don't know about that. Yep, this is old brood and it's hatching, and as it's hatching, they're filling it with honey, not, not new eggs. So I don't think the queen's up here at all. I think she's in the other boxes. This is definitely a lot more honey than was in here before. Oh, I can see the next frame is all honey. So I'm not gonna bother looking at the next two frames. Oh, wow, my back's killing me. <laughs> These frames are heavy. How heavy would you say each one is? Well, I believe each one is, what, a quart? Weight-wise, how heavy do you think it? And a quart is three pounds, so each frame is probably maybe six or seven pounds or so. This box is going to be extremely heavy. Okay, let's take a look in this next super. Two weeks ago and see how they're doing. I always pull out the end frame first to give me some space to work. Looks like they've already started drawing it out. They're drawing out the end frame. They're probably definitely drawing out the center frames. In fact, the center frames could even be full of honey at this point. Let's take a look. Starting to fill them with honey already. That's great. Oh, these bees are doing so good. You know what? I only put this box, this, these two boxes on there two weeks ago. And they're doing so good, I'll bet that six weeks time it'll probably be completely filled with honey to the point of overflowing. Oh, I'm so excited. So happy. All right. I think that I want to just go ahead and close up this super. Okay. Are you going to look under on the bottom one? I kind of want to, just to see. But you don't normally open them all up like that. I don't normally. Usually when I look at the bees, all I want to do is make sure I have a queen. As long as I have a queen, I'm happy. And as long as she's laying, I'm happy. But I'm really curious to see how they're doing on honey production for the year to give me an idea of what I can expect for a harvest. You guys want to see when we harvest the honey? It's going to be fun. Oh, this is looking good. I'm seeing the bees are starting to get irritated, and so I know I've had this open for a very long time, but I'm looking down inside and I can see capped off honey right on the edges. They're not very happy right now, so I think I'm gonna close it up. Notice how you're doing it slow. Yep, I go very, very slow to hope that 
Don't upset the bees. Oh, here's the heavy one. There we go. And finally. Okay, they're trying to sting my hands and they stuck the camera. Woo! Okay, you might want to back up. Dude. Yep, like I said, they, you really don't want to leave the hive box open for too long or they will start getting quite upset, even when you smoke them. The smoke helped a lot. I promise, but as aggressive as they are right now, you would be at least 10 times worse. And they would probably be buzzing all around us if we didn't use smoke. That's how beneficial the smoke actually calms them down so much. Click on the side of the camera. So Ryan was filming me looking at bees. And I had my finger just like that. And then the bee flew and went and stung that. And I was like, Ooh! If you look really closely, it's hard to see. That right there is a stinger. And it's pulsating. One of the reasons why it hurts so bad when you get stung is that little sac will keep on pumping in toxins to, well, hurt you. <laughs> and a lot of the times people grab the stinger and just whip it out, but it also pushes a lot of stinging toxins into you. So it hurts more. It's so interesting that it's pulsating like that. Yeah. Well, it's been on there for about a minute too. Oh yeah. So it's still amazing how it's still doing. <laughs> Look at all the bees from over here though. When I put that frame in this box, all these bees are now in the box looking around. Trying to find their way home. The main reason we add extra boxes is to keep them from wanting to swarm and abandon the hive because it's too crowded. But at this time of year, crowded is good. Even the bees like it crowded because that means that they're gonna have a really good harvest and good food storage, and also they're gonna have a really good insulation if it's crowded, you know, they want it full. On this frame, the brood is hatching. There's a lot of honey. That makes me happy to see. It is encouraging, yeah. Hopeful that they're gonna have a good harvest. So the, you'll have to put up another frame for the honey part of it, won't you? What do you mean? Well, a lot of this has brood and honey on it. This one's all honey. And some pollen. And this one's just honey. They're, they're building up their honey storage. They've started drawing out frames that they didn't, that they weren't drawing out before. So that's hopeful. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. Just excuse me. I've got some honey to go and consume. <laughs> See ya. You've always wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah, but he always uses like super scientific technical terms. <laughs> I, I got know. a proboscis to inspect okay that sounds really not i'm like, going to inspect the proboscis <laughs> the proboscis is what it stirs the nectar and <laughs> never mind